Yo, what's up? This is your boy Gark, uh, driving to work. Uh, I'm almost there, so it's gonna have to be a quick preview of uh, the Banters, the 2023 Banters, the first BGA event of the year, uh, the first major of the year. Um, we got, you know, a lot of people dropping out. Uh, Steve's questionable. Nathan is very questionable. Logan's gonna be out. Um, we got myself, uh, Lou, uh, Kevin, Kyle, Riley in the mix. Uh, I don't think I'm forgetting anybody. That's a five-man field. Um, Phil will also be joining, but as the rules state for this tournament, it's invitational. If you if you haven't attended the BGA Cup, you cannot um, play in the tournament like Riley couldn't last year. So he'll be his first banters. Um, so guaranteed, if Steve doesn't come, we're gonna have a new champion, a first time green jacket winner. But uh, I just realized, I don't know how we're gonna get the green jacket if Steve doesn't show up. So Riley or uh, Lou has to get that from him. Anyways, preview, we're almost, I'm almost to work. Um, we'll start with Kevin, the man from Portland, uh, he, he hasn't played yet. His clubs are in storage. I was, that, that was the sound telling me to break. Um, but anyways, I wasn't going to hit him. Uh, he, he hasn't played. His clubs are in storage. I just secured him uh, some, some better clubs than what he was planning on bringing. Uh, so he, don't, he won't have too much of a, of a detriment. Um, it's gonna be, he's gonna be a non-factor. I mean, the wind, if, if the conditions were good, I, I'd say that there was, there was, you know, a small chance in hell that he would have been able to compete. Um, but uh, I think that given the conditions and the fact that he hasn't played, he's gonna be basically a non-factor. Uh, so I'm, I'm rating him as the least likely to win the banters. Um, and then Kyle, uh, Kyle has been playing the most, besides Riley, Riley's been keeping it on the hush-hush, uh, he's kind of, you know, doing his own thing a little bit and giving us some small updates, which is understandable, uh, I mean, we're a bunch of psychos, so, you, you know, um, it's better to keep your distance from us, but anyways, uh, Kyle, Kyle's been playing in Savannah, sounds like he's been doing extremely well, um, and, you know, he's been playing alone, so, no one has really been able to, you know, assist him with counting because, you know, not saying he does it intentionally, but every once in a while he'll forget, um, you know, how to how to do basic arithmetic. Um, but I still think he's probably been doing quite quite well. Uh, I don't think I think he's been carrying that success from from the end of last year where he found something in his golf swing and uh, he's hitting the ball a lot straighter. Um, let's see how he does at the banters. I think this is, uh, you know, once again, Kyle's to lose, especially with Logan and Steve out of the field. Uh, so I would say he is probably the co-favorite, along with Riley, who uh, I haven't seen any of his scores. Um, I, don't, I don't get notifications when he plays at 18 birdies, uh, which means he's either not recording them on there or we're no longer friends, but... I assume he's, you know, he's sharp enough to be a factor. Uh, he, he had a great end of the season uh, last year, and uh, yeah, I think he's very dangerous. That's all I'm going to say about Riley. I'm almost to work. Uh, Lou, Lou, you know, he's he kind of keeps it on the hush-hush too, but his rounds are public. Uh, we've seen that he's broken 90 several times this year. He's been playing the most, I think I said. Riley and Kyle were playing the most, but I mean, Lou is just a madman with the amount of rounds he plays. Um, but you know, Lou is so um, basically uh, streaky that I can't really say if he's a factor. I don't think he's a co-favorite. Um, I think he's maybe, I'll put him third behind Riley and Kyle. Um, but yeah, I mean, Lou could easily win a green jacket. I think the competition means a lot to him as a just a Mount Prospect golf course enthusiast. Um, I think he'll want to win. I, I could see him getting a little angry uh, if things don't go his way, and maybe maybe a mental game is gonna gonna play a factor. And uh, finally, myself, um, I am 
I'm going to try to warm up a little bit before the tournament, but I expect to be, um, you know, near the bottom along with, uh, along with Kevin. Um, mostly because, uh, I, my handicap still hasn't caught up to my, uh, my, my play, which is, uh, shooting in the low nineties these days. Um, you know, everyone, I guess it just, considers your best rounds which are you know mid 80s and you get a couple of those each season and then you just screw yourself um so yeah i mean i wish i could play more to get my handicap uh higher so i could have a, a chance to win these things but you know we'll see i i only have one round to go off of and that was february which included a lot of shanks off of short irons and just no touch uh lots of bladed chips i think five bladed chips or something i didn't break a hundred but i mean it was february what do you expect i think the i think i'm not gonna be able to play well in this weather um and if the course is wet at all uh it's definitely going to just destroy me but yeah i'm, I'm just going to be lacking touch which uh, i rely on my game around the greens um but i am extremely rusty at that part of my game at this time of the year so I think it's going to be a, um, pretty much a mess out there. I think maybe one one person could put together a good round, and if he does, he might win by seven strokes. That's how much of a mess it's going to be out there. So <clears throat> if anybody comes to play, it should be a pretty easy win for, for them. But um, maybe I think it's kind of tradition for the banters to just, um, you know, have everybody play terribly and just the, the survivor wins that's what happened last year to steve i think he double bogeyed the last hole and the year before uh logan collapsed down the stretch but i hit it out of bounds in 18 so no one really plays well when they win the banters but maybe this year could be the exception uh, i think we're all excited to see each other and uh yeah maybe maybe this will be a different year where somebody is just storms away and, and wins the, the green fleece but that's all i gotta say nice quick recap uh look, look forward to the tournament right, good, goodbye everyone